Hi, welcome back to my DIY channel. Today we are going to make a frame for a bevel edge mirror out of cardboard. The cardboard needs to be thick, like double thickness, because you're going to cut in and make a frame and leave the back apart as the back part for the mirror. And these are the items listed that you will need. And also you will need any deco trims that you want to trim out the frame with and some E6000 glue. Let's get started. Here I'm showing you the bevel edge mirror. The bevel edge mirror and I'm showing you the 24 by 28 double thick cardboard that I cut out. And here as you see I'm showing you where I measured off two inches all the way around. I laid down my mirror and I traced out my mirror and then I measured out two inches around from that point so that I can have a frame. And the orange mark is where I'm showing you that I will be cutting it out with a utility knife. But as cutting it out with a utility knife, you don't want to go too deep. So you want to cut it by halfway in to like separate the top part and the, the middle part of the cardboard so that you can remove that out and have a frame so that the mirror can sit down inside the cardboard as a frame. And remember, I'm not taking the utility knife all the way through the cardboard because we want the backing of the cardboard to stay attached to the frame. So just take the utility knife and cut through halfway. And this is why, see how I left the backing part still left? And since I cut down to the middle part and not all the way through, I'm able to take the middle part out leaving a frame for the mirror. I'm not going to do it, the whole thing because it takes too long but this is where I got to the end. When I got to the very end I wanted to show you the last little bit how I'm taking it out. I took my time and took the cardboard part out. And there it's finished and you can see the two inches that I left all the way around for the framing part. Now the mirror is able to be able to sit down inside the frame. So here I put the mirror inside the frame to show you how it's fitting in and make sure that it's fitting inside the frame correctly and see I'm holding up to show you that it fits good right inside the frame so now we have our frame now we want to paint our frame we're going to paint the outside part of our frame I'm using a white um, just a white plain wall painting paint it doesn't have to be acrylic or anything like that because we're going to put cut glass over it and glitter. So you're going to paint that out all for a side, let it dry. Then you come back with your cut glass, mirror glass, and you're going to come back with some decoupage or modge podge. And you're going to put that down and then you're going to pour your glass on top of it. And then you're going to go back in and sprinkle a little glitter inside the on um, with the glass so it can give it a little sparkle to your frame but as I'm gonna tell you before you do this step put in the Mod Podge and the glass and then glitter in go ahead and trim out your frame with your any of your um, diamond wrap uh, that you would like to use, trim out the edge, the 
goes around on the inside of your frame it'll be much easier much smoother before you do it then apply your decoupage and your cut glass and your glitter I did it the other way around and I learned that it will be better if you put your bling wrap on the inside of the frame where that part will be cut out where I'm pointing to and um, go ahead and put your bling wrap on the outside that goes around where, I, where I'm just pointing it and then put your glass glitter on so now I'm putting some glitter on but I wanted to tell you to do that step before you did this step because I think it will be a much smoother next time which I'm going to make another one I will do it that way first before I um, put the glass on because I think going back and putting the glass on the glass some of it sticks up and therefore it doesn't let you line your bling wrap smoothly around whereas in, if you put your bling wrap on first and your glass on second then that will, it'll be a more smoother effect so you're going to complete that and let it dry and after it dry completely you're going to want to come back with the decoupage or the mod podge and you want to saturate it really really well so this is the sealant you're sealing in the cut glass and the glitter onto your frame so that it won't be falling off so that you have a permanent nice good seal some people like to use the sealant spray the sealant spray to me doesn't hold as well so that's why I just go back with the decoupage or the mod by whichever one I'm using because both of them work the same and it gives a very nice effect and it shines because you're using the gloss decoupage you're using high gloss mod pod to give you that shine let's let the glass shine through and to let the glitter shine through so here I'm letting you see that I'm placing the wraps around and I'll finish the wrap now I'm about to use the liquid nail glue to inside the base part of the frame so that I can put the mirror down so I'm gonna put that on and then I'm gonna attach the mirror on inside and I'm gonna let that dry completely before I move on to the next step so I'm placing the mirror in You can put something heavy on it to make sure it seal real good. And it did. So it's selling out. So let it sell around. Now I'm taking my glue gun and I'm applying my putting my um bling wrap around the frame. I kinda wish that <laughs> I do wish that I would have put the bling wrap on before I put the um, cut glass and as you see you can still do it but I think you get a much a nice effect if you do it before and here I'm taking my 20 by 24 thin wood board I got from Lowe's had them cut it and I'm attaching um, some lead wood blocks to it in the picture frame um, item that holds the frame on the wall the, the latch, the little tools, uh, I can't think of the name picture frame holders I'm drilling that on see this board is going to go on last it's the last thing you're going to do I cut my board 20 by 24 and that's the size of the mirror so I put it right flat in the middle so it's right on the mirror on the bottom of the mirror but after I did it I realized I could have did 24 by 28 
and it would have been a whole board completely covering the whole back of the mirror. But the little frame part that we decorated out will not have that on it. So here you see me applying the um, liquid nail glue and E6000. I use both because I wanted this to be really sealed real good. So I used both glues and I smoothed it all out real good on the board. And then I'm going to pick up the mirror and I'm going to place it. I'm placing this mirror where the mirror start and where the mirror end to the board. To the board that will be, the board that the mirror will be hanging on. It will be attached to that so that you got a good, real heavy frame. This is very heavy. So see the um, latches that I put on with the screws and I'm showing you how I put the board in the back and it's going to hang on the wall. I wanted something to be strong and sturdy to hold this mirror because this bevel edge mirror is very heavy. You don't have to use a bevel edge mirror. You can just have use a thin mirror from um, Lowe's cutting it out. But I have bought two bevel edge mirrors. So I went ahead and used those. It is very heavy. So you, you do want to have screws in there if you're going to use that. And you're going to need to use a little wood box to attach the screws and attach that. Here I place heavy items on the mirror and let it dry out overnight. And here's the finished look. And please remember to um, go to Amazon.com and support me by purchasing a copy of my book, The Greedy Aphids in the Ellis Blackberry Garden. It could be a great gift for Christmas for the for children. It's a wonderful illustrated book and it teaches the children how to read science, math. And it teaches the children about nature, planting and gardening. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching.